everybody and welcome back to another great edition of my Guru Room Show. And for the Guru Room Show today, we got a very awesome guest and he is in the 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 series out. It's a it's a very big series right now and it's called Un Unpresent and he plays one of the leads called Finn. And I'm really looking forward to to talking to him. We're going to have a nice nice little talk about the show, about horror films, about everything. And I'm going to wait for him to come on to say his name because I do not want to screw it up. And I am Rocco Cross. I am the host at Stutters. I am the host of the Guru Room. And my interview will be coming up very soon. This is my Guru Room. And as always, welcome to my nightmare. Stay tuned. Okay. Um, welcome to Guru. And thanks so much for taking time out of your night. Of course, of course. Super excited to be here. <laughs> definitely, definitely. We're off to a good start. You wearing your ghost face, me wearing my Freddie and Jason. <laughs> so, so like the first thing I wanted to ask you is probably a question you get asked a lot is, is what what drew you to want to act? Like what made you fall in love with it? Um, I mean, I've kind of always wanted to be an actor. That was like, is the only thing that like I've really um you know when you're a little kid you always everyone has their different dreams so one of the astronauts of course i wanted to be an astronaut too i think every kid wanted to be an astronaut but um no mine is just i just wanted to be on tv that was like my thing like my whole life and then um opportunities arose and opportunities were taken and now we're here in this interview <laughs> yeah definitely okay <laughs> And when you were still in school yet, was it was it hard to 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 do both, you know, high school and filming? Yeah, it depended on the teacher. Depending on the teacher, the uh, the school school and filming itself is not difficult, but the teachers make it difficult. It's like whether or not they're willing to support you and help you, whether they really care or whether they just, you know. Just don't really care you know if you're not here you don't get the work da, 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 that kind of thing you know so it's yeah. just just depends on if you have cool teachers or not yeah that's uh, yeah yeah you're right and i hope you had some some cool ones <laughs> oh, no, I, I was lucky enough for most of my teachers to be cool i've only had a couple that weren't okay okay but, you know what can you what do are you gonna do yeah exactly <laughs> And what was like the first role you ever booked for like film or television? The first thing I ever did was a short film called delete that post. Delete that <laughs> post. Okay. Yeah, I think I did it in like <laughs> 2016, I think 17, maybe, or maybe it was 2018. I don't know. My sense of time is really messed up right now, but um, yeah, it was a short film that I did. Um, I was, I got to play the son of a family of three, two sons and a mother. And she posted something that she was meant to like send to like her husband or something, oh. her boyfriend. And now we have to help her delete it. <laughs> and it's like a big, it was a big conundrum that we were all caught in, but it was really fun. It was the first thing I ever did. I was happier than ever just to be a part of it. So. Nice. Nice. And how was the act? experience like being on shows like the mick and rate and raven's home oh yeah that's the um well the experience varies from from set to set they all have different vibes you know raven's home it's very child friendly kids show oh, yeah. channel the mick is more adults more like fox you know the um uh with raven's home the atmosphere was always super uh it was super fun light-hearted and uh, it's the same thing with the Mick, but with, with the Mick, it just, you got to be, uh, I got to be a little bit more myself just because, yeah. of, uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't limited by, uh, by Disney Channel. <laughs> you That's know? true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I was always scared on Raven's Home that I was going to accidentally like slip up and like curse or something on set. Oh, no. <gasps> <gasps> what did he say? So wait, did he just think? Did he just say what I thought he said? Oh my no, god! No, 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 no! I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I saw you were actually in a horror film. So what did what did you love most about being in this this horror film that you were in? The blood. 
fake blood so much fun I was, there was a scene where i had to like stab someone in the throat and it was so oh my god nice blood was <laughs> dumping all over me and i was just having a time of my life it was so fun <laughs> <laughs> no, so you were the killer in the horror film then? Uh, not, necessarily. <laughs> not necessarily. It's called Nightmare Cinema. Um, it's on Amazon Prime, I think. I uh, it's more of like a Sixth Sense kind of thing. I like to see dead people. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't kill. I'm not like a killer. I, I only kill one person in the movie, <laughs> and it was more self defense than anything. But you know, <laughs> the way I did it, it was pretty professional. Pretty professional. Oh. Nice. <laughs> And um, like I was reading online, like what one one of like a big reason I wanted to talk to you and interview you. I, you, you know, um, if you saw my page, I I have a speech problem, stuttering, and mm -hmm. I read that you 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 used to have a bad stutter too. I did, yeah. It was and bad. um, yeah. So like when you were when you were going through that, because I know like personally for me like growing 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 up and you know kid a teenager and i still have it as an uh, adult like you're always getting like teased and picked on because yeah. because of your speech and it it makes you scared to actually talk to people or talk over the phone or over this yeah yeah no and, that was one of the big things in elementary school it was like the biggest it was like you've been in an argument with someone and you stutter and it's over it's I know, I know, right? Exactly. Yeah, what, 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 the, 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 I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I know, exactly, exactly. It's horrible, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, um, yeah, I actually, uh, we started working on my stutter when I was very young because I did an audition and mm -hmm. I couldn't get through it. I couldn't finish the audition because I stuttered through the whole thing and I couldn't, like, I never finished it. They actually sent me, they, they made me leave before I even like finished. Oh my like, God. Okay, thank you. And I was like, ah, oh. damn. So then I left, but um, then we enrolled me into speech therapy uh, around like six or seven. And then um, we just, I did speech therapy for like pretty much entire, all of elementary school. And then um, while we were, cause this was Phoenix, Arizona. So we did speech therapy for mm -hmm. the entire time I lived in Phoenix. And then we moved to Texas. Okay. And then, um, yeah, by then the speech therapy just started working and it just kind of just like started, started fading out. And, um, you know, one of the big things about acting is working on tongue twisters and doing a whole bunch of, you know, sure. incredibly difficult phonetically sounding like things. So, um, you know, that, that helped me a lot as well, but occasionally it's still like, it still comes back when I'm nervous. Oh my God. Yeah, I can't even get a sentence out. It's horrible when I'm nervous, scared, angry, especially when I'm angry. When I'm angry, I can't speak. It just doesn't work. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I know the feeling with that. It's it's crazy. Like, I see, I I didn't start going to speech therapy until I was probably like early early teens yeah but i had it from a kid but i didn't start going to like the early teens then i went through like so many different kind of therapies and, and, and nothing ever worked and still as an adult like i i try to find ways to make it less like yeah by talking talking slower or calming myself down like you were saying if you get yeah. angry or scared or anxious and Too it comes out even more yes exactly you know, i speak faster than my mouth can <laughs> can catch exactly. up <laughs> and then it just shuts down <laughs> all the thoughts in my brain just turn off it's over <laughs> 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 You're like, yeah that's it game game yeah. over game done. <laughs> <laughs> well i'm glad to see you oh over overcame it and you're doing good now and i'm really i'm really happy to see that no you you definitely will too it already it's already like it's already sounding like like really good you're tying you're tying all the words together it sounds like <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> and um now you're on this 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 big series on prison so how how did you wind up getting to be part of that um 
I was filming a film in Oklahoma and um, I was watching The Ring. <laughs> oh my God, I love that movie. I was watching The Ring. Uh, I, was watching the Ring <laughs> I was watching the the Japanese one. Yes, and, um, yes. Uh, I, I got an email notification and I was like, oh, I got an audition. And I looked and it said like Kerry Washington. And I was like, okay, all right, sweet. So I turned off the movie. I started writing on the script called my, um, my acting coach. And uh, we taped it, got it sent in. And then um, I just kind of forget about it. It's kind of what I do with auditions. You know, I do them, throw them away, forget about it. So, you know, hurts less. <laughs> and then, um, we were filming on set and then they brought me to a studio room. Um, and that's when I got the callback. So we did the callback in the studio room the same day I was filming. So I was filming and doing a callback at the same time. And then um, I did the callback and uh, I killed it, you know, and I got the job. And they were all very excited and I was very excited and uh, yeah, it all worked out. Oh man. I love it. Nice. All right. So now since you brought it up, I have to ask you, do you like the American ring or the Japanese ring better? I, I like, I like, <laughs> I like them both for different reasons. I think the, uh, the Japanese version had so much more of like a story to it. It was yeah, it really did. narrated. It was, um, there was there was a lot more there was a lot more layers mm -hmm. but it wasn't as scary it was eerie it was creepy yeah. it was disturbing and um it just like it uh it definitely uh it definitely got under my skin you know yeah, but definitely. the american one they focused way more on like like the jump scare aspect of it a lot more of the like we're gonna make you like we're gonna make you. We're gonna make you dance in your chair. That's what. That's what they are doing. I remember the ring, uh, the American version, still has one of the worst jump scares I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I kid you not. I had my my AirPods in. And I was yeah. just with full blast. I'm by myself in my Airbnb in Oklahoma, and I'm like eating a sloppy Joe. And then it's the uh, it's the jump scare where the mom is talking to the aunt. Is it the aunt? I can't remember. But she was talking to her, and she was like, "I found my daughter." She was in the closet and then it yes. cuts, it's like, ah! and it's like this super loud, it's like ear piercing. Yes. Just, it was, it was, it was, and it was like the, uh, the makeup design in the American ring was a lot more disturbing. It was way more graphic. Uh, oh, definitely was. Yeah. And so I was just, it was just like the, uh, the visual on top of the, the ringing in my ears. And it was, my ears were ringing for like five seconds after that. I had to pause it, close my laptop, take my headphones off. And I just like, I had to sit there for like five seconds, turn on all the lights <laughs> in my house. I was like, oh no. You know, that that movie was really creepy. And especially when she comes out of the television, she jumps out of the well and right through the television screen. That's like, the best like part. That. That's the best part. She like doesn't have any fingernails. So it's like, <laughs> she's like grabbing the floor and her fingers. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I've already cringed so hard. <laughs> what about the grudge? The grudge, the American or the Japanese? I haven't watched the grudge yet. That's the one I haven't seen. Oh, okay. Okay. I've seen like every single one, but the grudge I've been, I've been avoiding it. There's a, but I'll tell you what, there is a Korean horror film that I watched. Um, dang, I can never remember the title of it. Um, it's a, uh, I forgot, but it actually had one of the, the, the creepiest sequences ever. He's really? like, he goes into this, um, I think it's called Kira. Okay. Something like that. But he sneaks into this like abandoned building and he sees a couch in a, like a hallway and he goes to the couch and then they do like a quick turnaround to the camera so you can see the whole room. Yeah. And then they shot over his shoulder and you see a woman standing at the very end of the hallway. And then he turns around and then she just like starts walking. But it was like she was walking in slow motion in real time. Oh my god! It was so creepy because you could yeah, barely see her. It. And she like does this weird like she like steps and like breaks her foot on the floor and like crumbles oh, no. and gets back up and just like, oh, it was so disturbing. <laughs> so disturbing. I'll tell you what, Korean and Japanese films they do it right. They, they really do. Right. Like I love watching them, and uh, it, it, they're they're just so 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 creepy and eerie. Oh. Oh, there's a found like a, a mockumentary called the medium which was wow. i think that was korean or okay was korean. i'm not sure but oh man that was one of the, the scariest movies i think i've ever seen oh really that movie was disturbing 
It just oh, man. It just it was not it for me. It was not it for me. It's not it. <laughs> it was <laughs> nuts. It was nuts. Well, you, you see, you watched all these creepy, eerie film the jet the jet. Japanese films, Korean films, so now you have to watch The Grudge. Or... No, I do. I do. <laughs> I know. I know. The American one, um, Sarah Michelle Gellar stars. stars yeah. In. That's uh, the re uh, the one. It just came out like two, three years ago, didn't it? 2018, I think. That was like a. Or a that's the second a remake. Reboot. That's like a remake of a remake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like the the, the older one has um Sarah Sarah Michelle Gellar in it. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, Buffy. I, I knew there were two American versions. I had a fight with my friend about this. I knew there was. I knew it. If this out, I'm gonna send him this interview. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, watch the whole thing. There's a surprise for you in there." I knew it. <laughs> and, um, so, with with your show, <laughs> um, what what drew you? to finn like what do you like most about finn oh he's so like he's so funny he's so low-key he's super um he's so loving and it's really fun getting to play with a character like that because you have a lot of freedom you know what i'm saying um i have a lot of freedom with my character to go in different directions do different things and um he's finn is like a character that's like stuck in the middle you know stuck yeah. in the middle between Paige and edwin and he's gotta navigate who, because he kind of, the way their relationship is structured throughout the entire show, there are moments where he kind of has to pick sides, you know what I'm saying? And it's a That's lot true. of struggling, trying to just keep them together. And it's really fun because I got to choose when I got to pick the sides, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, like, as, as, as a character, like, I could do any of the scenes and I could do them two different ways. One where I choose page one where I choose Edwin like I have the freedom to do that with Finn because he's you know he's um because he's uh he's a character that's stuck in the middle but of course I chose my I chose uh I chose Edwin because Edwin's so charming he's so cool <laughs> but uh no I'm just kidding I love my mom <laughs> but, uh, you know it's uh it was, it was like a battle it was like a battle in his mind that I actually yeah. got to like play around with and got to be creative with and, you know, um, choose my moments. It was really fun. Oh, oh damn. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and how was like working with Curry as your tel television mom, as your, your TV mom? That's my real mom. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, um, on set she 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 was like my mom though like on set she uh oh, wow. she'd always watch what i was eating <laughs> even now we'd go to press conferences and she'd catch how much sugar i'm eating wait are you serious because <laughs> i eat a lot of sugar i'm uh i'm uh i've got this i got a crazy sweet tooth they uh they actually sent me um on prison sent me like a gift cabinet thing with a whole bunch of different like items from the show and of course nice. in my shelf they gave me a whole bunch of chocolates and goodies because they they knew they knew <laughs> they also gave me an alarm clock because they know i'd be sleeping on set <laughs> yeah oh i've been caught so many times it's in a chair just... <laughs> there's so many photos yvette has photos marquia's photos just of me just ko just crashed <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Harry goes on the sugar. She says I eat too much sugar and then I crash. And I'm like, oh, you're probably right. <laughs> well, see, every every time you you see her for like comic cons or press conferences now, like uh, you're gonna have to watch the sugar in front of her because she'll oh, learn at you. I know, I know. <laughs> she used to throw a bag of peanuts at me to for protein. <laughs> <laughs> so is it is there a scene you had the most the most fun filming from the show like almost all of them i think um the scene i had the most fun with um
I'm trying to remember the whole show in my head. Right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Trying to run it through every scene that I'm in. <laughs> Like, um, how many scenes was I in again? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> was I in the whole show? I can't was I in the whole entire series? <laughs> I think, um, I don't know about a scene, but I think my favorite sequence of scenes uh-huh. was when we were in Alabama. That was so much fun to film. Oh, wow. All of, the, uh, all of the Alabama scenes were so fun. I had a lot of fun. Because, uh, actually, I don't know if I can say that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just like uh it was a cool location and uh we had such funny moments you know when we went to his hometown and there was a lot of uh it was like a it was like i said in the show you know it's like a field trip but interesting and it was for me as well because there was a lot of things that i did not know before i read that script i didn't even know negrescence was a thing until okay the show. so <laughs> it was a big uh it was a big thing it was really fun oh wow no i see you actually learned something, I learned something. something from the trip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and was was there like any funny or cool behind the scenes stories that happened while you were filming? So many. Um, I'm trying to think of the funniest one. Um, like let me see <laughs> yeah, so a lot of the uh, a lot of the fun there was um there's a there's a moment where we first um meet oh no no, no i got a better one um there's a there's an actor dang i already forgot his name oh she's gonna she's gonna be so mad wait wait, wait i have to look this up um, he's like i can't tell the story unless i get the name <laughs> no no it, it's bad because he's like a really like iconic actor Oh, okay. But he's like, he's, he's, okay. All right. You're going to be mad at me now that I figured it out. <laughs> yeah. There's an actor on set. She was talking about uh, rom-coms back in the day. And she was talking yeah. about the nostalgia of rom-coms. And so she brought up the name Billy Crystal. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm, and I'm sitting there and I'm like at my gaming chair and just out of nowhere so impulsively i didn't even stop to think like oh maybe people maybe i'm embarrassing myself right now but i was like who's billy crystal and the whole set i kid you not you could hear it through the microphones people had their radios it was just a collective just i was like oh no (laughs) you're like oh damn i screwed up (laughs) yeah because you could hear it through the walkie talkies like the whole studio heard me say that I was, like, oh, God. I was like, this is one for the books. Everyone's going to remember me for this now. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, I know who Billy Crystal is. Like, I know the face. I just mm-hmm. couldn't pair the name to the face. Yeah, and exactly. Then I was like, oh. and then, oh, but then I dug myself in an even deeper hole. Because <laughs> then she was, uh, she was talking about, um, she's talking about a film with Billy Crystal in it. Okay. And I thought she was talking about when Harry met Sally. So I started talking about Tom Hanks and then it was just a mess. It was a mess. <laughs> Cause then we realized we were talking about two different movies and she was like, and she was like, are you talking about when Harry met Sally? And I was like, yes, yes, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I am. I apologize. <laughs> well, well, Hey, at least, at least they have, a story enough from the set you know yeah. I mean, unfortunately it's a story about you but <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that <though>. right exactly <laughs> so what do you like doing between takes besides napping <laughs> he's like that's it just 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 napping <laughs> no, I, uh, I would bring my uh i bring my manga on set and oh, I, sweet. I usually read in between in between takes. I took Berserk to set one time though, and I realized that was a horrible idea. <laughs> that is that is so amazing that, was set, like, that that series. I know. I was at like I was in volume nine, eight or nine somewhere. Oh, okay. Around, and I'm pretty sure that was the section with 
I'm pretty sure I was at the point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure volume eight or nine has the sequence with the trolls. Did you ever read Berserk? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like, love you know, it. I love you know the it. trolls. Yeah. Like, and you know what the trolls was doing? Like what they did. And so I was reading one of the sections, and Edwin comes up, and he's like. And he was like, oh, you're reading a graphic novel? And he looks down, and it's like the raunchiest page in the series. And I closed the book. I just closed it. I made myself look even guiltier than I already did. I was just like, oh, God. I was like, oh, God that he didn't see it. He saw it. He saw it. He saw it, all right. I forgot what he said. He was kind of cool about it. Yeah. And then we just started talking about like Japanese culture and like yeah. anime and manga and um, you know, how much I love it and stuff like that. And how much like, oh, I just nice. appreciate art styles and art design. And, and um, you know, he was, he respected it. He thought it was cool, but I wonder what he was, what he was thinking. <laughs> it's probably like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah he, wow. <laughs> wow. I was just like, wow. Oh. <laughs> but like, I, I love that series, especially like that big sword. And there's, oh my like, God, there's, yes. like a, there's a ton of gore. Like there's oh so God. much gore in it. I just love guts in general. He's one, he's my favorite main character of all time. I, my favorite main characters is either like guts or Aaron. Okay. Like, yeah. But, um, I mean, you just, you just getting there right now. It, uh, okay. He, his name is Itadori. Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. yeah. He's getting he's he's getting pretty good. I'm reading the manga right now, and he's getting he's getting tough. He's getting oh, tough. Oh, nice. So Yuji Yuji might be getting up there, but Guts is all time favorite forever. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I I mean I I I love horror ones like especially you have the classic Death 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 Note. Oh yeah, Death Note. Yes, that, have, that's uh, such a classic. I have um. I have a Ryuk tattoo on my thigh, actually. Wait, you do? I do, yeah. Oh my god, that's so awesome! <laughs> yeah, I have a Ryuk tattoo on my thigh. Um, Get out! I love, I love horror manga as well. Do you read uh, Junji Ito? I, I never did. Yeah, is it good? Ito, he's good. He's good. Uzumaki, Gyo, Tomi, um, uh, Ramina. Those are all so good. Um, the uh, Dissolving Classroom is really good. Those are okay. the that I read disappearing classroom yeah i think it's called disappearing classroom it's like I, a group yeah. of kids. they get like transported to another planet somehow and it's just like these kids go nuts like they're like killing each other and they're like <laughs> elementary school they're elementary school kids yeah i was like oh my god i was the series made me so mad at some points just used to it filled me with rage like pure rage i had to like stop reading at some points because i was so angry oh my god really yeah yeah no that series that series took me places i was journeying wow damn yeah, yeah but i i absolutely i absolutely love death death no though like the 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 book the animation series but the movie not so much the one with yeah. um william d d mm -hmm. d fo in it like it was okay but it wasn't right? like yeah with uh was it nate wolf i think it was nate wolf wasn't it yeah 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 what is his brother i was getting confused because they're they're i think they're they're twins oh are they really yeah there's nate wolf and I'm not going to try because I'm going to mess up his name. And if he sees this, that'd be embarrassing. But it's Nate and another one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, one yeah, did, I'm, I'm one a big fan. Death Note. The one that did Death Note is not the same one that did Hereditary. Oh, okay. 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 Which tripped me out. It took me a while to like grasp that. Because then I'd see him in different movies. Yeah. Jumanji, old. Yeah. And I was like, dude, this guy works a lot. Like, I was getting upset. I was like, this is frustrating. I was like, why is he in everything to exist ever? And then I found out he, his brothers, they're brothers. They each, <laughs> they're each doing it. And I'm like, oh, I mean, that kind of helps, but not really. Yes, exactly. Because these guys are working. I was like, <laughs> at home, I'm watching at least one of their movies once a week. I'm like, I'm tired of this, man. When, yeah, when but they're it, really good though they're really good so it's oh yeah definitely 
when did when did you you get your uh, death 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 note tied tied to um a year ago oh sweet a year ago actually a year ago like in a couple days i think really no lie lied um i no yeah a year ago in a couple days because i got it get all the coloring in it too and everything oh no, no, no all my tattoos are black i only have black. Uh, oh okay it's like, it's like a silhouette of him it's like it's like him like it's his wings spread out yeah 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 his wings so it's like a silhouette kind of thing i prefer oh, I love it. yeah wow nice did you would you ever want to go go over go over there to visit over in J- japan Tokyo was a dream of mine it's actually a dream yeah. spot. same same i i I always wanted to go there and visit and see it, and because you know I'm a big horror fan, yeah. anime, Magna, and I'm a wrestling fan too. And wrestling, oh, nice. is big there. That's sick. No, the uh, Universal Studios in Japan is like anime themed. Oh, really? Which is so sick. It's just so sick. That's so cool. I wanna, I wanna go just because they have like an Attack on Titan like exhibit and stuff like that. And oh, like, wow! It's hard. It's so sick. Well, it's because it's kind of like, you know, Japan's like really big for um, their anime. So it, it yeah. kind of makes sense for them to have like a, an anime themed theme park. That's true. That's <laughs> but it's true. so yeah. sick. I've always wanted, I want to go to one so bad. It's like a goal, dream of mine. But they, they said like even some like stores and it, they, they're, they're very anime themed, like even yeah. stores that you, yeah go into like a lot of it is has that theme to to it yeah no there's a lot of areas just areas in tokyo just in general that is just like you know just being in tokyo just feels like an anime in general <laughs> I know, it does, doesn't it? yeah <laughs> but it's like you, they have such like um cool like architecture and structures there because it's all like so like futuristic and stuff yeah. but, like you know it's like super um uh dystopian almost maybe i don't know i feel like it's the wrong word to use but um you know just like i, I just i want to be there i want to experience the vibes definitely definitely yeah that's a dream of mine too like oh, i so bright always want to go over there, there. oh yeah the lights and stuff and i want to try real authentic ramen i want to try it there you go yes real japanese ramen could you picture that, like actually eating that there, like like real real ramen? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> hungry. I'm thinking I'm about to cook up some ramen right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna put you on the spot here for a little bit. Like yeah, sure. you're you're a huge horror fan, so what are your top five favorite horror movies of all time? Yeah. Man, you know what's crazy is I knew you were going to ask me this. So I was trying to pick him out in the car and I still couldn't do it. Um, okay, well, an all time favorite of mine will forever and always will be Halloween because that was the first horror movie I ever watched. Nice. So I'll put it up there. I'm not going to rank them. I'm just going to say five. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Let everyone else figure, try to figure out which one's number one. Okay, so okay. Do you go? Keep everyone guessing. Put Halloween up there. Um, I really like Ari Aster. Um, so I'm gonna say Hereditary. Nice. Because there's there hasn't been a horror movie like that in so long. I know, I know exactly. And uh, it was very original, and it's very hard to make original horror content, you know, because it's like what's scary like these days, you know? Oh, they they, they they knocked they, it out of the park. And the thing is, is I didn't even know what I was scared of. <laughs> like the whole movie, I was like, what am I supposed to be afraid of? Right. And then once you got to that plot twist at the end of the movie, I was like. I know. I know. It's crazy. There's a new movie coming out in April. Bo's afraid. I'm so excited for it. Joaquin Phoenix. It's gonna be yes. Great. Um, but Hereditary, Halloween. Um um terrifier i really like oh my god art yeah art the clown he's so funny he is so he's funny and creepy at the same time i understand he's like really messed up like he's the things he does is horrible but he's hilarious he is funny 
Did you, did you people, second one? I'm having a great time watching it. Like it's so. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see terrifier 2 as well yeah i saw it three times in theaters yes so, so when with, he was like, uh, changing the glasses out oh my god yes oh I was my god crying. i was hilarious when he like he okay when he like that torture scene that was like 20 minutes the one in the, be- the bedroom yes and then the mom comes in and he's like eating her thigh i know and then the mom goes mom and he realizes she's still alive and he starts laughing. He's like, that was so funny. I was disturbed, but I was laughing. Well, yeah, exactly. I was like, he did not just do that. The mom is crying. She's looking at her daughter, like completely disfigured, unrecognizable. Yes. And he's laughing at the fact that she's still alive. That's nuts. That's nuts. That scene was great. That was an that was like the that craziest awesome. horror scene like I ever saw. No, I've I've never cringed harder in a film in my life. I cringed harder than any Saw film I've ever seen, and Saw made <laughs> me cringe. Saw made me cringe. Yeah. Um, let me think. Evil Dead of our classics. The remake was really good, but I don't think I'm gonna put them on the list just because like I thought they were good, but I don't know. I think they're just like a little bit, like just a little bit, like just a just a teeny incy beansy bit overrated. They're super fun to watch, but the storyline is so it's like yeah. I, I I think those films were more for like um, for like makeup. I think I think it was just to show off, like look how much blood we can use in a movie. Right, right. Which exactly. I love. You know, I'm a fan of fake blood. I loved yes. it. I loved it. But just for that reason alone, I don't think it's I can put it in like the the top five. But or what did I say so far? Ter- Terrifier, Hereditary, Halloween. Yep. Um, let's see. So Scream is not really scary. No. But they're creative. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Scream, the Scream, Scream movies the are great. It was good. The last two that came out were, were actually really good. Yeah, they're Scream, really good. Scream Six, I really enjoyed Scream that. Scream Six was really good. Yeah. And they're they're getting super creative with their plot twists, which yeah, is exactly, which is really cool. So I'm 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 gonna put the Scream series up there. Okay. You know, I'm repping the. Whoops, I'm repping the I'm repping the shirt. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying Scream. That's four now, right? Ghost face over there. Yes. Hereditary, Halloween, Terrifier, Scream. One more. Um. All right, I might get <laughs> for this one. Because all my friends, my friends didn't like it. I took them oh. to go see it. My friends didn't like it. Okay. But I really liked it. I'm going to have to say Skin of Marink. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. I really liked it. I really liked it. You know, that's not a movie I'm ever going to see again. Probably not. <laughs> but, I mean, I've never seen anything like that. That was I know. my it's different. In my opinion, I think that was almost revolutionary because that's going to that's gonna create a new era of horror for sure. Definitely. That was definitely just a template. That was that film for me just seemed like it was just like a, hey, I'm going to show you guys something and then you guys do whatever you want with it. But I'm telling you right now, you can do something nuts with this, you know, because that was crazy. And the jump scares were brutal. I know. I know. Exactly. The jump scares hit me in the face. Yes. I'd never been like so disturbed. Like not like disturbed. Oh, I've never felt so much dread in a film. Like I was, cause I didn't know what was gonna happen. Like at all. Mm-hmm. I couldn't predict what was gonna happen. I couldn't pin down when the jump scares were gonna happen. Cause you'd think one was coming and then it wouldn't come. Yes. And it hit you right when your guard is down. Yes. You're like, ah, oh, you see, they're going to do the jump scare there, but they're not going to do it. Bah! And then you're like, oh. <laughs> like, I, just, I just think in terms of creativity and originality, that was really cool. Like, it, I, it just, I totally it just, agree with you. They were just like, hey, this is either going to be a hit or a miss. This is, it's something that we're just experimenting with, but something we had a lot of fun with and they just put it out there for people to see. And I'm pretty sure it did well, didn't it? I'm pretty sure. Um, I think it did. I, it did. I, 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 I mean, they might, for, they might be able to get a second for, one. For, for what it was, that could have gone nowhere. 
Oh yeah, exactly. I know. So it's really amazing that, you know, people, people understood the art of that film and appreciated it, which that's, that's all, that's all I wanted for the, that's all I like, liked about the film was just, I just appreciated just what it was. It was a yeah. concept, you know what I'm saying? That's not something that a lot of, um, that a lot of horror fans usually like or look for, you know, imagine uh, yeah. a movie where you don't see anything. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> I know. Exactly. You don't see nothing. All you got, all you can rely on is just like what you're hearing. Yeah. That's it. Just kind of crazy. And I think <laughs> that these horror directors, they need to start, they should start leaning more into that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I could have seen something eventually, something, anything. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bit. But, you know, if that's, if that gets in the hands of, you know, uh, for example, like James Wan, James Wan could do something crazy with that. That that would be very interesting to see him doing doing yeah, something like that. Yeah. Like that. You yeah, know, yeah it's definitely, oddly, definitely. It's oddly like it's weird when one of your senses is stripped away during a movie. No. Like that's that you that's that that doesn't happen. I it doesn't well, yeah. happen. in a film you rely on your sight and your hearing most of the time. So to have one of those taken away and then you can only rely on one or the other is like crazy. I can't even imagine watching silent films for like back. In the <laughs> if I felt like how I felt watching Skinner Marink and I couldn't see anything, yeah, I can only imagine how I felt like watching like Charlie Chaplin, like not being able to like hear, just like watching. Well, well, art, art is is silent. Like he he's basically like watching a silent film because he don't. Which I think is actually speak and. Yeah, I have a lot of respect for for silent film actors just because, like, yo, they're not saying a thing. They're not saying a thing. They're not saying a thing. If I ever thought a movie and they were like, yeah, you're not going to say anything, I'm going to panic. I'm going to be like, whoa. Well, oh, yeah, exactly, because you don't know what you're going to do. It's like The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio. He barely said anything that whole movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was acting at its finest. That was all it was, just action. Oh, definitely, yeah. He did, just action all body language we just had to read everything he was feeling in the whole film i understood every thought that was going through his head like which oh, is wow. really like hard to hard to do it's really hard to make people understand what you're thinking without saying anything yeah 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 you're right i i, I mean for like for like newer newer horror slashers like uh definitely art the clown i think is like the new new generations like freddie generation jason michael for sure oh yeah yeah and i've got to say i think art the clown is the most brutal so far he he is like like art the clown is definitely like he clown. might chase jason out of the woods <laughs> he, would. He would i still don't get like a supernatural thing though like i'm not fully yeah. understanding it yet I think they're going to dive more into it in future films. Probably. He already had like a supernatural element in the first one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A little bit of it. But it was just like, they kind of like hint towards like each, like in the first one, mm -hmm. you know, the tricycle. It like yes. called out to him. Yes. That's how he found the tricycle. It like called out to him. And I didn't understand that until I saw the second movie where they introduced his little like, spiritual counterpartner that's been helping oh, oh my god she was so creepy yes so creepy yes and now but now you remember the ending right yeah that was i have disturbing. no idea what the hell that was i have no <laughs> idea what that was that was disturbing the ending. Got into it in the third one maybe but sounds to me like he's immortal i know that's exactly normal. he can just be <laughs> both anywhere anytime like <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. No, no, I no, like because you know the ending comes after credits for all. Yeah, then have like another scene. I knew to wait. I knew to wait. I was like, they're gonna do something fucked up. I gotta wait. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and I loved it too because like, I was telling you I'm a big big wrestling fan too, and the 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 that that scene where the credits are rolling. Chris Chris Jericho is one of the is like the guy there, the one who's who's talking one, to uh, the, the nurse. Hospital? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Is he a Chris Jericho, a wrestler? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. <laughs> so if you're a fan of uh, wrestling, uh, did you see the the John Wick film? John Wick movie? Oh, yeah. That was good. Dang. 
That was that was crazy. really good. I like that a lot. John Wick has the craziest grappling I have ever seen in my life. I know, right? I know exactly. He does not struggle for a second. <laughs> the moment he's got his hands on you, you're done. It's oh over. yeah, oh yeah, it's done. And I really like the uh, the combination of martial arts that they have in there. Mm-hmm. There was so much wrestling, jujitsu. Definitely, definitely, it, it 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 was a really good mix of everything. Yeah, really good. So they had IP man, it man. What what do they yes, call? Yes, yes. They call him IP man or it man. Is I think it- I think IP man. Right. I just I feel like you just pronounce the letters IP man. <laughs> this makes sense to me. I don't know why. Exactly. <laughs> do you do you play horror games too, like video games? I do. Yeah. I just um. Last one I played was Visage on uh, on my PC. I heard it as a good. That was nuts. That one yeah, was really. Crazy. Yeah, it was scary. It was hard. I didn't fully like. I couldn't. I never finished it. I got too scared. Um, Alien Covenant. That was yes, that played. was good. Alien. Oh wait, no, it wasn't called Alien. Alien Covenant is a movie. No, what was the game called? It was called Alien. Well, well yeah, it was. It was an Alien game. I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, the Alien yeah. game. It was called something. It was Alien something, but I played it and I loved it. Um, I didn't finish that one either because that one stressed me out. The chasing yeah. was too much, man. Yeah. When I was getting chased. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Getting chased and hiding. Like when I'm running away, I lose all track of where I am, what I'm doing. And yeah, I just, same. Can't do it. Yes. Can't do it. Yes. But I just love playing them anyway. And I got my, I got an Oculus. So I play horror games in VR now. Oh my God. That's so awesome. Nope. No, no, it's not. It's horrifying. Oh, oh no. It's actually so scary. No, it's it really. It is awesome. I'm being, uh, I'm being, <laughs> being, uh, being ironic. But the, um, <laughs> oh man, it's a game called Paranormal Activity that I played. Like, that like up. the movie. Yeah. That was messed up. That was messed up. That that was hard to get through because you feel like you're in there. You are in there. Get out, really. They, they jump at you and it's it actually like it's in your face, you know what I'm saying? You I, you, you you hear you're hearing and you're seeing, but you're in it and you it like it adds a sense of reality that's like really messes with your head. Cause then you can pick things up and you almost feel like like you're like grabbing things, like the way you move the mechanic with your hands and stuff. Oh wow. It's, it's nuts. It's nuts. It's fun though, but it's nuts. All right, I have to. I have to look into that. Yeah, I recommend. Did, did you ever hear? There's a, a a horror game that I love playing. It's like a whole series. It's it's actually a Jap, Japanese horror about ghosts. Fatal Fatal Frame. It's called. Did you Did you ever hear of that? Fatal Frame. Yeah. I think so. I watch a lot of YouTubers that stream okay. horror games. Okay. I think maybe Jack. I think I watched Jack Septic guy play that. I think maybe. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. The, those yeah. those are really good games. Yeah. They're they're very creepy. Like it has the whole ring grudge vibe. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> there's, uh, there, there's also another series of game. Where it's like different. Like they're like they're like true stories. Oh, okay. Like games. So it's like one is like. A kid just staying at home and his house gets broken into and you have to like try not to get caught by like the killer oh wow there's like a lot about stalkers a lot about like um serial killers and just like creeps in general just like a lot of like there are some supernatural ones i just forgot what it was called dang i gotta start <laughs> remembering things man <laughs> no it's bad it's bad i'm horrible with names like it's so bad i'm scared to go back to set because i already forgot like half the crew's name it's really bad just just go on there and and walk around them when you see their like name plates up on the yeah just, that's what i mean oh do. yeah hey what's so up walk around and just join group comp join group conversations <laughs> hope i can be in the conversation long enough that somebody says the other person's name exactly and then i can like oh, then i can breathe out loud. i'm just gonna eliminate i'm just gonna go through a process of elimination i'm actually gonna start writing people's names down Okay, there you go. <laughs> in my notes, so I can like, but that also might look really creepy because then if someone sees my notes, like, what are all these names for? Yeah, that's true. You know, it's like, oh, you know, I just 
I forget people's names because that sounds like a lie. You know, people are not going to believe that. Oh, you well, forget everyone's name, so you have to write them all down, huh? Just what write is- them on your phone. Just don't let no one look at your phone. You know, just act like you're texting some. Yeah, someone. yeah. They'll never, know. <laughs> they'll never know. <laughs> well. Well, I, I, I just looked at the time and realized we're coming on in an hour. I, I didn't want to keep you that long. Though. Oh, we are. <laughs> we are. No, it's okay. It was really fun talking to you. I really yeah. So um, I didn't I, even I, realize. I, wow. That's I, know, I know. I was, I just looked down at the time. I was like, oh shit. I said, I, I've been talking his ear off for like an hour. I feel, I, I feel bad now. No, I, was, <laughs> I, I was talking to you. I was talking to <laughs> Um all right, so where can fans follow you at? And and also say your name because I didn't want to screw it up. I didn't say your name at the beginning because I didn't want to screw it up. <laughs> Anna, leave the cat alone. <laughs> Sorry. My dog, my angel. Anna. Oh. Anna. oh. She keeps chasing my cat. <laughs> but the, um, okay. Yes. My name is Folly Jacotravana. You can catch me on Unprisoned on Hulu. You can follow me on Instagram at Folly Rakutu Havana, just my first and last name. You can find me on TikTok, Folly's Board, dot underscore three, if you really need the whole thing. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure just Folly's Board will work, though. Yeah. And, um, I would give you my Twitter, but I've been logged out and I can't get back in. So. Okay. <laughs> and you don't do your little dances and singing on TikTok? No, I don't dance and sing on TikTok. Okay. I just post like funny videos, like horror movie reviews, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Whatever. So whatever. Whatever. I I'll post like dumb videos with my friends. You know, it is what it is. Whatever there happens. You go. I just I, I, I really live in the moment with TikTok. It's not like a very serious thing for me. It's just like if I have an idea, I'll make I'll make something and post it and forget about it. And you know, one bad comment and I will delete the post. I swear to God. <laughs> I want one video where they're like, where they're like, uh, just like any sort of diss, any sort yeah. of diss, deleting it so fast. Oh my god! Well, well, you know, go go make your um ramen. I I know yes. I, I know you've been wanting to eat to eat your ramen for the past hour. I might have to buy it. I think we might be out. Oh I'm no! Gonna get, I might even get ramen or Korean barbecue. We'll see what happens. There, hey, that's that's that that's even better. That's yeah, that's even better. I love that stuff. Well, yeah, but thanks again for doing this. It was so cool meeting you. Like I, I had a blast. Like you're you're really awesome. Thank you. I had such a great time talking to you. Great interview. Thank you, man. Thank you. Definitely, definitely stay in touch. I would I would love for you to come back on and when new horror movies come out, we could we yes. could chat about about yes, like that'd be what, cool. what we thought about them. Next time I'm in a horror movie, we can do it in your And also when you're in a horror movie, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my goal right now. I'm trying to do more horror. Okay, there you go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, well, definitely have a great night. And again, it was so much fun meeting you. So definitely stay stay in touch and all that <laughs> yeah, absolutely i just saw your message today by the way I oh you did oh till earlier so i'll follow you right now <laughs> okay sweet man <laughs> awesome. thank you so much had a great time definitely buddy all right see ya all right bye <laughs>